Hello, I'm Jeff Hajek. I'm the owner and founder of Action Continuous Improvement. So today's lesson is on tolerance stackup. Now tolerance stackup is basically when you get um, a series of parts that all link up together. Now a lot of times if you have one part, um, if it's a CNC, uh, you know, computerized numerical control machine where everything is in precision, you might have uh, the dimensions for the specification within the thousandths or two thousandths of an inch. Um, but sometimes you'll have a manufacturing process where you're manually cutting tubing, say, and the tube might be cut within an eighth, in, eighth of an inch in either direction. And if it's just one part against another part, often that doesn't make a difference. But let's look at this fictional um, machine I have here. So let's see if we can get this going. So what I have here is I have a bracket. And as you can imagine, depending on how this is made, this might be three pieces all welded together. So you'd have a weld here and a weld here. So this dimension may not actually be the same every time. It might be, you know, say 12 inches today and 12.04 tomorrow. And, you know, so there's a little bit of variation in it. And the, um, the, the effort to get that variation down with lean, you can bring that variation down very small, but to get minute where everything is press fit in there, it's a very complicated task. And, and often it can't be done with manual processes in a way that matches it. So in this situation, if you had one part that fit in there, it might not be a big problem. But let's say we have three parts that have to lay end to end inside this bracket. Now, you might have a little tiny gap between each part and that's acceptable, that there's very little play in it and the parts fit cleanly. But what happens is, let's say the blue operator today had um, his fixture got a little bumped and you get a little bit of space here. Maybe there's like some dirt on it and it was cutting it a little bit short. This might still be within spec. Most specifications are given with a range where you know you have the three, this, um, this gap can be in here, can be between you know, zero, or maybe it's like it has to have a little bit of play in there. So maybe like, you know, 0 0.01 and 0 0.08 inches or something like that. So there's gonna be some acceptable amount. And when you have many pieces together, you have three pieces together, sometimes you'll have more. What you'll find is that often one piece will be a little uh, shorter than normal and one piece will be a little longer than normal. And you'll still end up with uh, a decent tolerance. And this is basically a function of something called a central limit theorem. There's a, a standard deviation about how long this piece is, how long this piece is, how long this piece is. And when you put them all together, these all have their own, they all kind of form together to get their own normal distribution. And you'll have, uh, most of the stuff will fall within the middle of the spec range when you have three of them all stacked up like that. But if you happen to have both of them going in the wrong directions or all three of them going in the wrong directions, you can end up with a lot of opening, a lot of play in the system and a lot of gap. And that's not a really, you know, you can, you can tell at this point you're starting to see problems with how this operation goes. So this is the tolerance. When you talk about tolerance stack up, what they're saying is you put this all together, all of these parts, all four of these parts are all within spec. And that's the key with tolerance stack up is each individual part is within their specification limit. But even though, but because they're all towards one end or the same end that all kind of contributes to a cumulative effect, you end up with a big gap that becomes unacceptable. And this can work in both directions. So you can have it going in the direction where it's too small and leaves a big gap, or it can be too big, and you can have the three parts that just don't fit in at, at all. So as you can see, even though everything is all in spec, you end up with these problems here where the system doesn't work even though the individual components are all okay. Now, how do you fix that? Well, first of all, you can really work at reducing the variation of each individual part. So if this part you know, if you really focus on making sure that this part goes from, a, you know, one eighth inch tolerance in the specification to, you know, 16th or 32nd or, you know, 200th or 2000th or something, you can get really small, but that all entails a much more refined process and it takes a lot of effort to get to that. Or the other option is you maybe put a, a um, adjustment in here. And I don't like adjustments. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of adjustments because it creates, um, a whole different set of problems. You create extra pro uh, process steps to produce this. So you'd rather be able to just put all your pieces in together and not have to worry about um, fitting things all in and, and then adjusting. So while it is a workaround, it's not the best one. Um, the the best one really is to redesign the product so you don't have uh, so you have the minimum number of components that can stack up. 
So in this case, you know, you might not end up designing it with one piece that's all three pieces. Instead of having three separate pieces, maybe you design one piece that doesn't um, need all these different cuts in it. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can, can go about this. So, the, you know, if you do it that way and you, you redesign it, what you end up doing is you, you allow for manual processes to still be used. If you start getting to be where you're requiring really tight tolerances and it's a really sophisticated piece of equipment, you tend to start needing to have um, a lot higher tech to make sure you reduce those tolerances to a, a much more minute level. And it really depends on your product and what, you, what you're producing. But again, the, the fewer pieces that you have um, interacting together, the less the impact of tolerance stack up will be. So I hope that helps out a little bit and kind of gives a little bit of clarity to what this concept is and how to approach it. Um, if you have any questions, post it down below. Um, I always appreciate when you like and subscribe to my videos. That always helps me out and I can get more videos going. You know, the better I do on my site and my system and my YouTube channel, the, the more production I can do. Um, so again, thank you for watching. Thanks for the, uh, the likes and the subscribes. And until next time, this is Jeff Hajek signing out.